But what's going on everybody? It's your boy DT back at it with another video today. I got a special one for you guys. I'm about to do my streaming setup. My whole game room, my whole game corner, if you will. Um yeah. So let's just jump into it. All right, let's jump into it. First, we're looking at our room. We got this fat cat right here. Talk to him, Kiki. It's a 23 pound cat, y'all. Too much. Just got a little, you know, room display. Got our little awards up there. I live with my fiance. Got the room bed. Got the mini TV there. Uh huh. Now, this is in the corner of my bedroom. All right, we're starting with the corner of the room. You got to do what you can with what you have. This is the gaming setup right here in the corner. First of all, we got the green screen. And I'm going to back up a little bit just to show you, like, it don't look too bad with the room. Like, the room, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't take away from the entire room. It's just a little corner. So, yeah, just do what you can with what you have. We got the green screen here. It's about $19 on Amazon. And again, I'm gonna I'm have the links to everything I'm showing you guys in the description down below. <clears throat> we got the S Racer gaming chair. Next level, y'all. Super comfortable. Oh, try to spin it around. But yeah, super comfortable. Really good desk chair, high quality. This was about $120. They do have cheaper ones on Amazon that you can grab for like 60 bucks. I recommend always gaming in a chair because you know if you game for like a long period of time and you like sitting on the edge of your bed or a couch or something, your back can kind of hurt. This, you can always lean back and uh, it's just real good for your back. There also is like a lumbar support cushion. I don't have that in there yet because I ain't had that problem yet. <clears throat> All right, this is my gaming monitor. It's a 24 inch Asus gaming monitor, one millisecond response time. Yeah, and that's my PS4 kind of home screen, but you can see real good graphics, high quality. Up top, we got the webcam, it's a USB webcam, 1080p, just plugs directly into my laptop. Got a desk lamp for the lighting for the green screen. It just uh, helps make it more transparent when you're streaming off a green screen. And uh, <clears throat> let me just go back to the, the monitor as I'm sitting down now. This monitor is probably like 350 bucks, I believe. $300 is 24 inches. So that was the price of that. The uh, camera was about 20 bucks, I believe. And then the PC with the Carmex on it, you know, always, uh, don't, don't get them chap lips, y'all, don't get them chap lips, and so that's what the green screen allows, as you can see in OBS, there's a little slit there, it's just because my green screen isn't pulled all the way back right now, and you can see my braids, it's crispy though, dang, she did a good job, alright, but, uh, this, uh, Dell laptop, gaming laptop from Best Buy. It was about 700 bucks. You can probably get one cheaper uh, now, probably around $500. But that's really all you need to get started. Um, the only thing with this is if you want to uh, pull up different browsers or pull up your stream on your computer, it's gonna make your stream a little bit laggy. It just doesn't have enough hardware to run both OBS and streaming. So I usually pull the stream up on my phone to read all the comments and stuff. So that's kind of, that's the only downfall. That's This is the next thing I need to upgrade. Um, but I just bought like this desk, L-shaped desk. Smooth. It's got enough room for all these stuff. All my wires are a little dirty and not hitting well. Some headphones, wallet stuff. The PS4 extra controller down there. But yeah, the desk was a nice thing. I just got the desk, the gaming chair, and the green screen. So I'm going to save up for that laptop. PS4 controller. This is another thing I just bought. This is about 120 bucks, I believe. Maybe 140 Scuffed controller. 
Oh. So, yeah. Scuff controller, definitely, definitely a must have in the Fortnite. Um, it allows you to keep your thumb on the aim stick while not having to take it off the jump, hit the edit, pull out your pickaxe, all that kind of stuff. Still getting used to it, but definitely a good investment. Um, <clears throat> we got our blue snowball microphone here. Uh, just a nice cheap microphone. I think it was like 40, 50 bucks. I can't remember. I got it a while ago, but there'll be a link in the description. Um, yeah, just a cheap microphone just to make my voice clear as possible. Uh, using the desktop audio, is, it comes like scratchy. The Blue Snowball picks up audio quality a lot better. Just your basic PS4 headset, 30 bucks from Myers. And then down in here, um, this is what allows me to stream off my PS4. You can barely see it. Um, it's the Elgato HD 60 along with the Elgato chat link. Elgato is expensive. I think it's like a hundred bucks now. Maybe it was 200 when I bought it. I believe it's like $99 now. Chat link's like 10 bucks. This allows you to hear the audio from your headphones while the stream can also hear the game audio. So that's a must have there. And, and then the mic stand was like 10 bucks. So that's really, I mean, that's all I got right now. To produce this type of stream quality that I'm doing right now in the videos. Uh, this video is just taken off my iPhone, but I usually use Streamlabs OBS. And if you guys want me to do a tutorial on Streamlabs so that you guys can uh, start your streaming today, just drop a comment down in the comment section below and we'll make that next. All right, y'all. All right, and that's pretty much my complete gaming setup. I would say I've upgraded from a beginner setup to kind of like an intermediate setup for gaming. It's probably, all in all, the overall cost of everything is probably right around $1,000 in equipment and chairs, the desk, the, the monitor, all that kind of stuff. So it's probably about $1,000 altogether. Probably a little over, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. But, yeah. That's my whole setup. That's pretty much all you need to get started. I mean, you, you don't even need this much to get started, but if you're looking to upgrade just a little bit, then you can hear the car outside the window. I have my window open. I apologize. Maybe I'll cut that out. Maybe I won't. But anyways, if you like the video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe for more content. And always comment down in below what you guys want to see next. I'm here to serve you guys, so... That's it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.